Hey guys, it's Jacob, also known as Country Boy Jeep. Uh, this will be the first video I will be shooting with my new uh, GoPro and some software. The video is actually for a review of Steinjaeger's Kermali long arms. They are the highest quality out there as far as I'm concerned. Um, no noise during driving, handles very well, and they're longer than your typical long arm because of the the center cross member design is actually just a bar going across from one end of the frame rails to the other it's not a long um, long skid plate design so you can incorporate uh, longer arms which Steinjager did and um, so I'm gonna be actually placing this GoPro underneath my Jeep to show you um, the views between going over obstacles and actually uh, driving on the road and um, we'll see how that goes. I have not gotten a chance to view it that way unfortunately yet but this is the first uh, anybody will see of it. But as far as ride quality and build quality I've been driving these for thousands of miles so far and not a problem. I mean, even the powder coat's holding up nice, and I've hit them on a few things, and as you can see in the video coming up, they're pretty dirty, but they're still holding up and very well built. Now, I did have an installation video for you guys, but my phone went up a little while ago, and I lost everything I had between this video and a few others so I'm trying to redo it now better with the GoPro um, as far as actual assembly it's not that hard um, you do have to remove your factory frame mounts as well as pull down your um, your whole exhaust assembly just to get it fitted in case you need to make any modifications now that's the same with every long arm kit, but other companies, they don't typically tell you that in the instructions. So you're, um, you're left to try to figure it out yourself of how to route things and, and how to cut things off. And um, honestly, Steinjaeger with their instructions, they simplified everything and it made, it made it very easy for me. I changed the exhaust up a little bit just because I didn't want a rear exit anymore I wanted to have the side exit and and get as much travel as I can without hitting anything um, Steinjaeger uses the the highest quality Cremali Himes out there um, they've lasted very well most people will say uh, Himes make a ton of noise for everyday driving these have held up very very well um, they actually make the arms in either a Cremali or DOM tubing. The Cremali costs a little bit more, but I do recommend it because it is a stronger material and it's the same thickness for all the arms. So you're getting that much extra added strength. Um, and of course they have the options for uh, automatic or manual transmissions. This helped me a lot because I am one of the few people with an automatic transmission. I have the 32RH 3-speed automatic. And uh, some kits, you know, they figure most TJs are manuals. They completely forget about the fact that there are automatic TJ Wranglers out there. So I appreciate the fact that they went into the designing every aspect to fit everybody's needs. Um, the brackets themselves are very sturdy. They're some of the thickest out there as far as I've seen. And when these arms came in, they were absolutely massive. And between them being longer and thicker than most arms, I, I was just wowed. They're, it's crazy. Um, and they perform well, like I said. There's no rubber to replace, be replaced like some... Um, some Johnny joints and other things and but they don't limit flex because of that and uh, no noise though very great um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the the under chassis video of uh, these arms performing <laughs> 